State employees demonstrated outside Governor Patterson's New York office Thursday to protest the governor's proposed furlough. The legislation would withhold a day of pay a week from state workers until the state budget is passed. Furloughing you without pay, which would be a 20% reduction in pay for all those members who are being furloughed. We're here to tell the governor that we're not going to take his cuts. He spent and wasted enough money. In response to the controversy over the proposed legislation, Governor Patterson stated, I have never seen an organized labor group protest so much over so little sacrifice they are being asked to make. I have to ask him, have you forgotten that since 2008 that 4,500 jobs have been eliminated? that we are in fact doing the work of two and three people. Wednesday, Judge Lawrence E. Kahn of Federal District Court issued a temporary restraining order against the furlough. A lot of people heard about the temporary restraining order and they thought that solved the whole problem, so they didn't show up. But um, in spite of that, I think we had a good turnout. Both Governor Patterson and the labor groups were looking forward to the court date of May 26th. Patterson stated he will get a chance to be heard on what seems to be a trend where the courts tell the CEOs of a state what to legislate and what they can't. Well, our most desired outcome that when the judge uh, hears the case on the 26th of May, that he would find that it is illegal as everyone is saying, and that he would rule in our favor and stop the furloughs completely. For NYPost.com, this is Will Poulos.